Hey everyone, Zephyr here, back with this, like, spinning fire of death thing. That shoots halfway across the stage. Can I walk on this? Alright. Yeah, it just looks different. Okay. Ooh, maybe I can hide in here. No, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, wow, it didn't get me. That was unexpected. I thought sure he'd be able to reach that far. Oh, wait. The door's closed. I gotta go this way. Just wanted to get rid of that teapot in my hands. That's all. What is with them? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Actually, I'm sure that in a second here, they're all going to activate and start spitting fire. That's what those. That's what's with them. At least she grabbed it this time. Oh, a switch. Probably to open the door. Surprise of surprises. And now they're going to try and burn me to death. Okay, that, I was going to say that platform's way too low. Keep an eye on the... Oh, shit! Out of the way. Okay, that's where I came in at. I'm like, is that a secret room? No. All right. Oh, no, there he goes. He's going to burn. And there's the door. Now to get down to it. There we go. No sweat. <laughs> Avoided the fire. Oh, this is different. Oh, it's another one of these rooms. Which means we've got another platforming journey ahead of us. Nice. These are fun. The belligerents, without true cause or purpose, abused and murdered their Pacific victims, whom they hated for being different. The invaders corrupted the vivid world. The assaulted could not comprehend the massless brutality. Still, they stayed on, trying to placate their oppressors and recover their past. The cruel interlopers attacked at intervals instead of killing them all at once. The wretched survivors suffered in perpetual fear. Is there a worse fate? I can't pick up that tooth. Damn it, little tease. It will. Oh! I was gonna say, I didn't think there was enemies in here. But he's actually just another obstacle. All of them are. Out of the way. <laughs> Do not let them shoot me. It zooms in so far, I can't see anything. But I guess there's nothing to see. Oh. There we go. Well, this is interesting. Oop, fire burn. There we go. <laughs> I'm so glad they give warning. Oh, and the cliff's falling apart in the background. Oh, they do stop. Okay. That makes it easier. I didn't think that they would. <laughs> Just blaze on through. And get an extra fruit here. Oh, that's right, you have to pick it up. Maybe that's what was glitched out in the beginning there with that tooth. Maybe there was supposed to be a, a um, peach there or something. Crunch, crunch, and crunch. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that was really just there for Flash, but it was still kind of amusing. Oh. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, man. Well, okay, I know the path now. Promise she only floats for so long. There we go. 
And you can't start floating without jumping. I gotta go down and pull that. Oh! Collecting the peach does nothing, you have to collect the tooth after it. Let me into the peach. Secret room. Yes. Pretty simplistic, but you know, whatever. Why do I get the feeling I need to go to the left over there? Because there's teeth. All right. <laughs> These side paths are not very long, they're just kind of there, but sure. At least it helped me avoid falling on that- Oh, Platform. Keep running. God, I thought that was a wall I couldn't go through. Okay, I see what he's hitting. Sort of. See, I can't tell what's in the background or what's in the foreground. I also don't know if I can drop down there. Probably not. I imagine... Oh! It would lead to my doom. My swift demise. Well, this is definitely more interesting than the last one of these. Okay, I wasn't sure. <gasps> Again, can't tell. Oh, got a little bit close there. A shot to the heel kills me just as smoothly as a shot to the chest. Or head, or whatever else. Alright. And we're out! That seems to be like their transition between different zones of the area. Which, it's better than a loading screen. I mean, I still get loading screens regardless, but it's more interesting than just a loading screen. Oh, what do we have here? That sounds like a boss. Oh, nothing special. Just another one of these guys. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Crap, there's two of them. Okay, this sucks. That's right, get on the same side of me. Little bastards. Crap. You guys are annoying as hell. Oof, ran me right over. Don't hit me. Ooh, I almost come almost missed that last one. Oh, he threw those stupid little seasoning shots at me. This is not going well. It is really hard to concentrate on both at the same time. There we go. Get some life here. And now let him kill himself. This teapot cannon though is massively effective at killing these guys. There we go. Man, that was a hassle. They've never given me two of them before, I don't think. Definitely not in an area like this where they're constantly trying to be on different sides of me. Oh, 
It's him again up there. The the elder ant or whatever the hell he is. Oh, what do we have over here? It looked like there's something up there. Did I miss a secret? If it is, I don't know how to get to it. What's that symbol for? I'm curious. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh! Interesting. I never would have seen those down there. Yeah, there's no way in hell. Where would that take me to? Or would it kill me? Only one way to find out. Nope! Not supposed to go down that direction. Alright, now I know. <laughs> Thankfully, death doesn't do much in this game. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll pick it up again, heading up there to the Elder, and go from there. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you all later.